What's going on fish nerds and welcome back. This is my 20 gallon tall nano aquarium and you guys have seen this tank before. Uh, this is one I escaped years ago and uh, this is the tank where the Mexican dwarf orange crayfish used to live back when I had those. Unfortunately they never bred for me and uh, they only have a lifespan of one to two years so I no longer have the dwarf orange crayfish and uh, you may also remember I had the exclamation point rasboras in here for a little while uh, but they just got to where I was I was just kind of bored with them they didn't really do much couldn't really see them very well in this tank they hit a lot and as small as they were I just kind of got bored with them so I actually gave those away uh, to my mom actually so they're living in a 10 gallon aquarium at my mom's house now so this tank needed some fish in it and it's been a while since it's had fish in it and uh, I picked up these Pseudomagill Gertrude Aru 2's at my local fish store about a week ago and I am loving these guys and uh, I picked up 10 I got five males and five females hoping to have a little breeding group maybe I'll try to breed them here in the future I think that'd be pretty sweet and uh, build these numbers up in this tank a little bit because I think this tank could handle a few more but even just having the 10 in here that I have has been awesome and I find myself just sitting in this tank and just staring at these guys and uh, I have wanted these fish for a long time and I mean just look how cool they are the pectoral fins how they just kind of stick up over their head like little feathers or wings that they just flap every time they stop swimming and uh, they got that nice blue tint to them especially on the males and just a really neat little fish really active really colorful and I've wanted these guys for a long time. I just never had a chance to get any. Uh, so when I saw that they had come in stock at my local fish store, I called them up to make sure that they were still there. And then I rushed over and picked them up right away. So really excited to have these guys. And being rainbows, uh, they are from uh, the Papua New Guinea uh, part of the world. I'm not saying that these specific species, uh, especially the strain Arutu, I don't know uh, I, I know a Rutu refers to their collection point, but I don't actually know where that is. I'd have to look it up. Um, but also from that same general part of the world, we get peacock gudgeons. And I wanted these guys because I've got all this rock work in here, which gives a bunch of caves and crevices, places for fish to hide. And I wanted something that was going to be in the bottom half of the tank. And especially with those pseudomagills up here in the top half of the tank and you know these peacocks especially when I realized hey they're from the same basic part of the world even if it's not like a true biotope type of deal if they're not from the same river system or whatever it's pretty close which granted our super red bristlenose back here doesn't fit in a biotope either which then again neither do these rocks and probably not that wood and uh, not the Anubius either but these peacock gudgeons are just super colorful super neat uh, little micro predators and they do a really good job even being micro predators of taking uh, flake food and small pellets <clears throat> excuse my voice I've been sick for several days but uh, such a pretty fish with that pink and the blue and the yellow and the black and uh, really fun to watch. They're just constantly swimming around here, the bottom half of the tank, hunting. And uh, I've seen them peck at the uh, shrimp that are in here uh, a few times, which, granted, these are just culls, or rather the grandchildren or great-grandchildren of culls that I've thrown in here. Uh, so not shrimp I'm trying to breed anyway, but they'll even hunt the uh, little trumpet snails and things like that. I saw one earlier today that actually picked up a trumpet snail in its mouth and was like banging it up against the rock like it was trying to uh, bang the snail out of its shell so it could eat it but look at that shrimp actually though hold on pause we we pause this message to bring you a really cool shrimp it's like a oh man I'm struggling to get him in focus but he's red on top and like a blue black on bottom that guy is cool that guy is really cool. But anyway, really liking the activity and the life that's going on in this tank now with the P 
peacock gudgeons down here on the bottom and they are a fish that likes to have a lot of places to hide but I've noticed that because they have so many places to hide not just with the plants up there but with all these caves and nooks and crannies and things they haven't tried to hide much they haven't been acting shy at all and uh, in the store a lot of times if there's any kind of structure in there you'll see them either in the corner of the tank or under a structure or something but here in this tank they've just been out and about constantly moving around super fun to watch and uh, these pseudomagills man I just love these fish so I'm gonna say this is probably the perfect stocking for this tank uh, not to say that all 20 gallon tanks should have pseudomagills and peacock gudgeons but for what I was trying to get here to have an active tank with small colorful fish uh, the, to go with the scape that I had this was absolutely the perfect stock and uh, I'm super stoked with it and I, I apologize guys this is a very different video for me I don't usually just come up to a tank and show you the fish that's in it and just talk about how much I like them but that's kind of what I've been doing with what little bit of free time I have is just sitting in here and uh, enjoying how much I like these fish so I figured I may as well film them and uh, show them to you and if you would like to get a species profile on either of these fish either the the rainbow fish here or the peacock gudgeons down here either one let me know in the comments below and uh, we can do a species profile on how to keep these guys and maybe even breed them and like I said I'm hoping that maybe I get a chance to uh, breed these rainbows I think that'd be really really cool and also real quick guys I do want to give a huge shout out to our channel sponsors flipaquatics.com uh, that's not where I got these fish but they do sell nano fish they sell freshwater plants and they sell fish food shrimp food and of course they sell uh, freshwater shrimp uh, neocaridina caridina they don't sell culls like these they sell some really really nice shrimp in fact they're the only place I will buy shrimp uh, is from flipaquatics.com and uh, Rob from Flip has been a buddy of mine for years and uh, even before he uh, came to me and asked me about ch sponsoring the channel and uh, so that just made it an easy yes because I already know the company is outstanding their products are outstanding their service is outstanding and uh, Rob and Amanda are just awesome people so really happy to be partnered up with them and excited that they uh, chose to reach out to us to sponsor the channel so give them some love go check out flipaquatics.com and uh, if you order anything make sure you leave them a note to say that I sent you there but yeah guys this is the tank update I, I know this is a little different for me but uh, I didn't really have a whole lot of time to work on much like I said I've been sick and uh, we've got a lot of other stuff going on as well uh, baby's only a few weeks away and so that leaves us uh, pretty busy on top of everything else that's already going on so I apologize to think that it's been a couple weeks since I put out a video for one thing and that this one's a little bit different hopefully we'll get back in the mojo of everything but uh, in the meantime I will say thank you guys so much for watching you guys are awesome God bless you fish nerds and I'll see you next time